out the threat. This week, target Tokyo. This is Mac Johnson of the United Press, reporting from Saipan on a story of revenge. A story that began on April 18, 1942. Army flyers headed by Major General James Doolittle have bombed military objectives in Tokyo and four other Japanese cities. Americans were jubilant, but the jubilance was changed to horror a few days later when the Japanese radio announced... The sacred soil of Japan has been defiled by American fires. Several American fires responsible for this outrage have been captured and shot. The United States government made vigorous representations to Japan for this inhuman treatment of prisoners of war. But out here in the Pacific, the pilots, the bombardiers, the navigators, and the gunners of our Army Air Corps were not thinking about representations. They were thinking, remember, remember those dead comrades when you get a Jap Zero in your sight. Have their sacrifice before you when you line up your bomb sight upon a Japanese base. Remember, and let your answer be the destruction of Japan. <laughs> Yes, the men of our armed services remembered. They remembered when they smashed a Jap invasion fleet in the Coral Sea. Remembered when they invaded the Solomons, the Gilberts, New Britain, the Marshalls. Pushing inexorably through the enemy's outer defenses. Smashing, driving closer to Japan. Yes, and the day of revenge was at hand when we invaded the Marianas and captured Saipan. 1,600 miles from Tokyo. The Americans speak of revenge when they are 1,600 miles from our sacred soil. Fools! They have found by now that the Marianas are a mass of coral. It is impossible to construct airfields there for long distance bombers. We Japanese dare the Americans to try it. We dare them! <laughs> Saipan six days, and with the fighting still going on, your engineers... Yes, my engineers are busy preparing a little surprise for those sons of heaven. Come around a few weeks, I'll show you something that'll knock your eye out. Don't worry, Colonel, I'm not going anywhere. Well, thank God it's finished at last. What do you think of it, Johnson? Well, I... It can't be real, Colonel. Yeah, but it is. You're looking at a B-29 airfield. Yeah, runway. It's terrific. Uh -huh. How long would you say it is? Well, it looks like it runs all the way across the island. That runway, Johnson, is exactly seven miles long. Seven miles? Every bit of it. Those big super fortresses need plenty of leeway to take off. Why, do you realize that one B-29 carries one full tank car of fuel oil? <whistles> super fortresses? B-29s? Say, Colonel, what are you cooking up now? You tell me, Johnson. You tell me. I didn't have to tell the colonel. All of us on Saipan knew what was coming. Knew that most of the credit would go to those hard-working aviation engineers. They accomplished the impossible. They moved four million square yards of rock coral. They moved one entire block to carve a B-29 runway virtually the distance of the island. A few days later, from the east, came the drone of a mighty armada of planes. Well, Johnson, there's your answer for United Press. Silver fortresses. B-29s, Johnson. The greatest long-distance bombers in the world. Hey, look at those babies. Yes, thank God for that. They can land on Saipan, they can take off from Saipan. 
Come on. Let's go meet the pilot. Well, men, we discussed the preliminaries of this reconnaissance flight last night, so I needn't go over the details again. However, let me review briefly. Make straight for the target. No roving around looking for a fight. You have one job to do. Photograph strategic targets in Tokyo and get back here to Saipan as fast as you can. The route out will be direct. Route back, direct. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, Good sir. flying, gentlemen, and hurry back. Congratulations, Major, on a fine job. Thank you, Colonel. I want you to meet Mac Johnson of United Press. Hello, Mac. Congratulations, Major. Thanks. Say, uh, Colonel, how did the photos come out? Well, take a look for yourself. You too, Johnson. Yeah. Amazing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. For your information, Major, those photos you took are the best pictures of enemy targets ever taken. Oh, thank you, sir. Do you have any trouble on the flight, Major? Well, nothing serious. A couple of zeros jumped us, but we chased them off. Maybe it'll be different next time, eh, Colonel? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine, Johnson, but I, I know how you can find out. Yeah? How? Huh. Our day is coming. Well, the sooner the better, sir. All the men are anxious. Yeah. How would you like to come along, Johnson, for the ride? How? You mean... <laughs> These United Press correspondents catch on quick, huh, Major? <laughs> Everybody here, Major? Yes, sir. Where's Johnson, the United Press? Over here, Colonel. Oh, all right. Men, your attention, please. Your attention. What? You all have the details of the formation. First squadron forming the leading element will take off at 0640. Group assembly will be over reference point J at 7,000 feet. Reconnaissance indicated we can expect a warm reception from anti-aircraft fire and fighters. If you're forced down, you know what to do. The main objective, gentlemen, is to get... Tokyo and bomb hell out of your targets. Any questions? That's all. Then go get them. So long, Colonel. You're in good hands, Johnson. The Major's one of our best B-29 pilots. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good luck, Major. Hit him one for two little men, huh? We'll hit him plenty, sir. All right, Johnson. Up you go. Okay, Major. Army 49607 from Tower. Clear to taxi to number one runway and take off when ready. Clear to taxi and take off. Go ahead. We'll go. Roger. Hang on to your hat, Johnson. We're on our way to Tokyo. Okay, Major. Bombs away. 
right on the button. What do you say, United Press? Good work, Major, good work. The first B-29 raid on Tokyo was a smashing success. The barbaric treatment of General Doolittle's courageous flyers had been avenged. One of our leaders summed it up when he said... This first B-29 raid on Tokyo was a calculated extension of our air power. No part of the Japanese Empire is now out of our range. No war factory too remote to feel the fury of our bombs. The battle for Japan has been joined. listening to Mac Johnson's dramatic account of Target Tokyo, the story of the first B-29 raid on the Japanese capital. We will present another in this series in the near future. Be sure to listen. Meanwhile, remember to listen for United Press News on the air. Look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.